Well, we have already understood about blockchain and its working in this channel. Today we will learn about different types of blockchain. Mainly there are three types of blockchain, public blockchain, private blockchain and consortium blockchain. Beside we have hybrid blockchain which is nothing but just combination among these three blockchain. So now let's get right into the video. Okay, starting with the first point, we have control. In public blockchain, nobody controls it. It is totally permissionless. Whereas in private blockchain, it is controlled by an organization or a group. Similarly, consortium blockchain is an extended form of private blockchain. Instead of controlling by a single company or organization, here more than one companies are involved into it. Since we have talked about control factor, the public blockchain are completely decentralized as it is controlled by no one. Whereas private blockchain are less decentralized and consortium blockchain are somewhat more decentralized than private blockchain but still centralization exists. Let's move to the next point we have access. In public blockchain, anyone can access it. Everyone is eligible to join the network and become a part of it. But in private and consortium blockchain, only selected participants can participate in the network and become a part of it. So there involves some kind of trust here. The fourth point we have is the transaction speed. Since the node in the public blockchain are unknown, we need some kind of consensus mechanism like proof of work or proof of stake. So it takes little more time to mine or validate transactions in the block. Whereas in private and consortium blockchain, since the nodes are known, there is no need of this consensus mechanism and hence the transaction speed is light and faster. Now on fifth point we have immutability. In public blockchain, it is almost impossible to tamper data in blockchain since it is controlled by no one. Whereas there is chance of tampering in private and consortium blockchain. Similarly open blockchain are more secure but private blockchain are less secure and consortium blockchain are little more secure than private blockchain. Next point we have is scalability. We know centralized things are more scalable than decentralized one. So the more the decentralization, the less will be scalable. Hence public blockchain are less scalable than private and consortium blockchain. Okay, so these are some points regarding the public, private and consortium blockchain. Regarding the hybrid blockchain, it has some features of public as well as private blockchain. Alright, I hope you got some information regarding the types of blockchain and I hope you like this video. If you do hit the like and I will see you in the next video.